All right. So how long was this? Ooh, four years ago. So we're a little late on that one. Um, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't think I've watched this one because I don't recognize it. So I try not to watch too many of the ones uh, I think people might want me to react to, but sometimes it's tempting. Let me see. Okay. It's going to cold them. Oh my god. We already starting off with drama. I have no mouth and I must creed. We're off to a great start. A while since I've watched a Civi video, to be fair. I don't know why, but I've noticed lately, like a lot of people I'm subscribed to, sometimes I don't see their new videos in my feed. Hi, Panda. Welcome on in. Whenever I boot up a trash game, I usually know within about 10 minutes if it's going to be an episode. Creed, or The Creed, is a Russian-developed first-person shooter from some people who root creative team. And watch this trailer. What does this make you think? Oh, God. Uh... I wonder if it's a first person shooter. <laughs> oh my god, the pixels. That's right, Russian Doom 3. Ha, ah, nah, no, I wish. It actually <laughs> came out too early to be Russian Doom 3. It's closer to Russian Unreal 2, and if that doesn't scare the pants off you, I don't know what will. Boot up the game and you're well, greeted with you, Panda. I appreciate it. first person shooter. I have a feeling this is going to be a bad one if it has to tell me that. You like this here? These cutscenes with these, I guess I could call them scan lines? Ooh. They're over every cutscene, and this isn't the normal frame rate for the game. This is just... Um... That thing from Pledge of Ties is somehow related with Creed. Yeah, the line thing... That Master Umi was obsessed by the this is hurting my eyes a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, I get you. You pitch shift because you don't have enough voice actors. I know that game. There sure is a story happening here, and I want to experience it to its fullest. Really, drink it in. It is the Creed Master Tafrast Umi. One of us. You must punish the traitor. You and some other dedicated <laughs> agents will go to Creed. Theophrast Rumi is hiding there. But to go there, he must have known the way to get out. Rumi way to go there. Way to be. Way to be to be. And we really need to know what, what it is. What the fuck? <laughs> you are in Creed, a mysterious anomaly that no one has yet returned from. A sparrow is seriously damaged, and it has been attacked by Spigs, a primitive race of space marauders. Your primary task now is to find the survivors. Yeah, sure, obviously, you start with a knife. There's no pistol in this game. You got a knife, the knife has negative one ammo. Now, negative one is computer brain speak for infinite. You just don't see it very often because they do a thing where it says infinite or, or else there's no ammo count, not negative one. If you're playing a game where a thing says negative one instead of infinite, that's a good indicator that that game is jank. The game so far, it doesn't look bad. Some Graphics of that tasty wise, it looks drink. like something made on Unreal 2, which ain't bad for 2004. Well, early 2004. It's well, awfully dark. I ended up turning the brightness up all the way, which, okay, so up is down, down is up. This could be because Russians read right to left. Decent particle effects. But this first enemy you face seems to have a pretty high poly count. He's... Mm. Okay, so you can barely tell when you're hitting a thing. That's a spig, and I'm wondering how it got so far when it doesn't have a gun like all my other comrades. Oh, hey, look, they <laughs> do sometimes. Yeah. 
so the one AI of the things I love about Civi's video what they like to do is videos, uh, besides you know being entertaining, um, is some of these games, these older games, the more janky they are, and even some that aren't, but the more janky they are, the more I'm interested in actually playing them, and I'm like, this looks like it would be horrible and fun at the same time scan you from across the room as soon as you open a door and every time you take damage you get the same flash on the screen no matter how much damage you take like imagine if you were playing doom and every time a zombie man hit you the screen went fucking crazy i get a shotgun right away we're doing quake rules kids no pistol straight to shotgun and it's awful killing something with the knife gives you no feedback killing something with the shotgun gives you almost no feedback and when you pick up ammo you get a message like this uh -huh, okay so far this is <laughs> trash but it's kind of endearing it's trying real hard that changes because i've been running shit. around this first level trying to find out where i have to go see a lot of these areas are copied and pasted whole hallways rooms so it gets a little confusing it's my fault i didn't see this vent here because i can't see shit soon you'll get a yeah sometimes i think when I said of this game some janky games Unreal too this is one of the major some janky games are kind of like some uh bad movies or tv shows it's like you know it's bad but that's what makes it entertaining because you already know it's bad you agree it's bad but you still want to watch it or play it just for that entertainment. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Reasons why this and the flamethrower you get later. I'm not saying the ripoffs because I don't know who would want to rip off Unreal 2. It's like, okay, so there's a secondary fire mode, right? Zoom in one bullet at a time. And that one bullet does two or three times the damage as the bullet when it's not zoomed in. That comes in handy for the soldiers. Looks like I'm running low on health. Luckily, you can regain health with ampules, which you inject. And Just, each one gives you 15 shit. health. No, wait, 10 health. No, wait, each one gives you seven health. I see what's going on here. The higher your health, the less you get back with each injection. So you don't want to waste them. You can get like 40 health if you're almost dead, and then maybe half as much each time afterwards. And when you've got the health injector equipped, you can't run. Health and you press 69. H to select nice. it. Okay, I thought it was H. And in the beginning of the game, you can press H to select it. But the key for that is actually M. Because so you press G to select grenades. <laughs> yeah, that's grenades, actually a good example. And you example, press H to select high-tech <laughs> grenades. But if you don't have any high tech grenades, it'll select your health stems, and you won't have any high it's tech like you know grenades for a while. Like you know what you're getting into so you when you're watching those movies. gives you health, which it doesn't <laughs> unless it does. Sort of like how the three key is for the carbine, but it's actually for the triple barreled shotgun. It just oh, gives damn. you the next available weapon when you press the key <laughs> when you press the adjacent. It just gives you the next available weapon, which is in the first <laughs> slot. You have a really slow run speed. That's not cool. However, strafe hopping allows you to do this which probably shaved an hour off of my playtime and made melee enemies trivial. You gotta go deal with this reactor problem on the ship, though. No one... No one has ever returned from this place, Daniel. They knew that Aspera will never come back. I, Kier and Thane, the Navigator, have brought it to the age of the abyss. Do you hear me? We hear no. you, we just don't understand you. All are going to stay here. There is no return from Creed. <sighs> One more thing, Daniel. <laughs> we failed to stop this the fucking reactors. dialogue. The radiation is going to kill us soon. Go find the main terminal and switch it off else we will die <laughs> dies in russian <laughs> attention Self yeah you think you would start with the um proceed to escape part the killer radiation leak or... did i do that i don't okay I got the flamethrower, and forget that flame jet happened in there. If you walk forward at all while using it, you set yourself on fire. When the counter reaches 10 minutes, I assume you die. And this being the first time I've ever played this game, I made it out in just over three and a half minutes. Speedrun strats over here. I'm looking at Civi. The ship explodes. Speed I'm just gonna take you. the game's word for it because it doesn't show me. We gotta get to another ship stuck in the Creed anomaly. The Confederate battleship Tokugawa. Here is Confederate cruiser Tokugawa. Answer me. Confederate cruiser Tokugawa. It's an escape shuttle of a spare supply ship. I will troubles with the engine. 
Roger that. Docking allowed. Be careful. There's a lot of contaminated people and rebels around the docking area. Oh, rebel confederates, you say. The South has risen again, kids. I Let's just love the fact down. so far, like, in this game, it's like they're trying to be serious, hardcore, soap opera, drama, all about it. And then it's the voice actors and the lines they're saying, and it's like... You're not really matching it up there. You, you're not really matching it up. Oh yeah, baby, give me some of that sweet blue juice. <laughs> now oh, one no. of these soldiers, they like to hit scan you from across the room and the map. And also the way the AI works in this game is that anybody in the area can hear you. You can't hear them. Sound doesn't travel for the player too well, but they hear you and they swarm. <sighs> <laughs> when all the enemies have the same line and the same voice actor. They wow, what an epic battle. You might mistake for AI. Early game, best thing you can do is snipe them with the carbine. You can't tell by looking at them that they're shooting you. They don't have really good animations, so just assume they're shooting at you. Use your imagination. Their reaction time's really good for plague-infected cousin fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> they don't always know how grenades work. Sometimes they'll toss one that'll explode right on your chin, and then other times not so much. I don't know how grenades work with the splash damage in this game. is weird if you can't tell just by looking at it. I've been running around this level a lot trying to find out where I have to go. See, a lot of these areas are copied and pasted, whole hallways, rooms, so it gets a little confusing. Using. Yeah, and it's dark as fuck. While. The difficulty in this game seems proportional to how big a room is and how many enemies are in that room. Learn to save scum so like, far this I'm, game is... I, does this game not have, like, a flashlight thing? Because you and... This is, like, set into the future. You got all this sci-fi shit. You don't have a light? Just a little one? It's a, li Worth the it's a little light. Get to a normal game where save scumming would be dishonorable. I've been running around this level trying to find out where to go, see... A lot of these areas are copied and pasted, whole hallways, rooms, so it gets a little confusing. The level design is pretty bad. In this one level, you have to crawl through this tunnel, and I didn't know one of the paths here was optional, and it gives you a rocket launcher, and the water... Oh, the water. All the water in this game, or any liquid surface, is just a mirror. And sometimes it kills you, and sometimes it doesn't, just like real water. When I say <laughs> the level design is bad, keep in mind I'm only talking about every level front to back, especially when you have to hit a switch to unlock a door and then backtrack through the entire level to get back to that door. That's why we stray far. Yeah, I've never heard of this game either, so... so much time. It's, it's just wild. You can reach us via ventilation tunnels in water station's control room. <laughs> Where the hell are you? I don't know! <laughs> we're, in, we're in the future and it's like, we don't have lights, we don't have GPS, a paper map. How did you get here? We haven't had so many visitors in the last four years. I know nobody ever comes to visit us in the Creed. I know it'll suck you in and keep you here forever. But what about me? I get lonely here. Nobody calls. Nobody comes to visit. This isn't how I wanted my retirement to go. Just recently, our vehicle got sucked into Creed. There it was. What are these by speaks. butt the cheek shots survivor. over here? Look. I like this. See, the player character has some dude's pitch-shifted voice like, why would you give your main character the pitch-shifted voice? You should just give it to some random NPC, right? Priorities? Some kind of epidemic has killed a lot of our people. The survivors become what you see. Tell me, how can one go on like this without losing sanity? Some of the crew members started a rebellion and took over the ship's control. The rebels want to start the reactors and get out of Creed. I mean, this, yeah, why wouldn't you do that? This voice acting. So See, if, this, as suicide. if I mean, this game was made, like, today, the amount of people that would comment AI voice actors... <laughs> 
or whatever like ai voice actors ai writing it's no this is this seems to be um 100 percent genuine jank all on its own no computer needed so Oh. Yeah, why wouldn't you do that? That's right. But we're slowly taking over the ship now. Next, you will go to another sector where the assault will start from. We'll contact you whenever it's time. <laughs> Check out what? this triple barrel shotgun. It has the same kind of feedback as the other guns, and it eats three times the ammo. And one of the things about these guns is that the animations all don't really convey how long it takes to do anything. You fire and then it sits for a while, like there's no visual cues as to when the thing is ready to fire again, which makes the combat, you know, dog shit. I used to do a little, but a little wouldn't do it, so a little got more and more war. There's not much to this part of the game. You're shooting guys, sniping them over and over. You gotta shut the reactor down, I think. I'm so confused playing this game. It's like being in a sensory <laughs> deprivation tank. I'm not sure. See, a lot of these areas are copied and pasted. Whole hallways, rooms, so it gets a little confusing. <laughs> How many the times is he going to say that exact same line in, the, in this video? The Confederation is indebted to you. Wait, I was the Confederates? What do you mean indebted? Doesn't hell make all of us equal? I don't... Now I, could be a comfortable what? place too. Well then, you should be welcome in Burg. Burg? That's what the Legion calls its citadels. That's it. We've intercepted a message that made the whole difference. It came from one of the nearby worlds, hard to believe, but it's being colonized by Legionnaires. The fucking voice acting. I. They really thought they were something, huh, when they made this. They thought they were truly badass. <laughs> well, guess we clocking out. Job done. I can't. What is his voice? Ground meat. Well, let's see. Corsairs are not leading me here to die. They are not leading me. I'm telling you. Quit winning. I, y'all. I just keep having flashbacks to like watching uh, the nanny. You know that show where she has like a naturally nasally voice, but for the character she plays, she like overdoes it. Like she. Just, I It's like it's so it's so fucking yeah. Yeah, Fred, the nanny. It's like Like she ha she has a naturally nasally voice, but she overdoes it. Yet somehow this voice actor has like done her voice times a hundred. What the <laughs> What were they thinking? Why? Like, I'm just imagining the voice actor, like, legit holding their nose the entire time they say every fucking word. Just, just full on. Quit winning. <laughs> it's gonna get fucked in here. Oh my god, we're so badass, you guys. Oh, wait. Hey, we're so badass, you guys. You poor things. Get out of here. Run to our ship. Okay, the alien ship. Uh, you see a lot of these areas are copied and pasted. Whole hallways, rooms, so it gets a little confusing. At least in this part Fuck's of the game, sake. some of the doors have red lights and some have green lights. And when you get certain panels, you can open doors and you can see that they open a door. But which door? All the goddamn doors are identical. They're the same doors. You have to take this elevator, except they're all the same elevator. <laughs> There's one that's broken, but it's in the same goddamn room. I'm supposed to get out of here somehow. 
you gotta go through this yeah i'm convinced tunnels, there's right? no light hit a switch that requires you to simply because it's fucking copied again, and pasted i have a minigun but i don't really give a shit now they thought the, the darkness would hide it 100 bullets to bring down so uh i get to some kind of laser puzzle and i don't know what that is or how it works let's just forget it ever happened after <laughs> uh i don't i don't know time has stopped functioning correctly see a lot of these areas are copied and pasted oh my god <laughs> That's Whoa. not hyperbole. If you can find a worse one than this, Save keep it to yourself because this one. Okay, imagine having tank controls, but worse. Imagine using a vehicle that doesn't let you turn. Whatever direction you started in when you entered the vehicle, when you press forward, it goes that starting direction forever. It looks like I'm strafing. I'm not. I'm pressing forward and backward because there's no turning. And if you're making a game and your two minute vehicle section sucks, cut that shit out and maybe pad it out using a copy of another room like you do for 90% of this fucking game. <laughs> Yeah, forget first-person shooter. It should have said copy and paste, or, like... <laughs> uh. Well, you got into real trouble. That's why I seem so mad at you. Haha, <laughs> they really got us today. <laughs> oh god, please, no more. <clears throat> This fucking music. <laughs> that was too fast. Freeze! Or I shoot! When? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? And these little critters here, the Langoliers, are on this planet too. They're everywhere. So what you gotta do is deactivate a force field and hit this console here, but defend with these grenade turrets. Yeah, they're turret sections in this game. I... I... Civvy losing it, y'all. And the grenade turrets don't. They don't. They just don't. Yeah, it's, it's literally... Creed! Copy and paste the game. Wait. So instead of doing that, you have to wait for these fuckers to come in because their pathfinding isn't the worst. God. Remember that I said that some water kills you and some doesn't? Well, this water here kills you. <laughs> Except that one time it didn't. That is so... That is so confusing. What do you think you're supposed to do here? Platform on these boxes? Yeah, well, you're wrong. Fuck you. You gotta go back and shift this random shit around to access the door here so you can get to a catwalk up here where sometimes you can get through spaces this wide but not this wide. But once you've done that, it's clear sailing. City of Dead. I wonder if there's some, like, dead people now in the I city. I know what you're thinking. Look at this, a huge temple, bombs raining down from the sky, heavily armored soldiers. This is some endgame shit. And under normal circumstances, it would be. But there's four hours left for this game. Oh Imagine shit! You, will. you have rooms with supplies in them that you'll need behind doors that have maybe a 10% chance of opening. But you gotta try all of them while being bombed and shot at. At least we got a railgun now. It doubles as a plasma gun. The primary is a railgun. The secondary is a plasma gun. There's a lady here who does nothing. Is it serious, Sam? God, it's been a while since I've ever played a you serious Sam game. You make this area by running around these rooms and getting bombed. I don't know why it At least when it comes I, to I, serious I, Sam, they, they know their I, game's I a joke. It <laughs> I, I think it is. Okay, we're in the Citadel. There was an elevator, and the Citadel is... This this game just you guys ever screams. Play you remember that part in Blast Pit where you have to screams activate Screams like they thought they were hardcore. And then up and then get into a vent? Okay, imagine doing that, but the game doesn't know how gravity works. I think I've only played the first 
serious Sam game. I honestly can't remember. It's it's been a fucking while. Can't see shit in this game. I give up, right? I tried to cheat. SV cheats one. Yeah, that works. Fly, don't mind if I... What? So I fly into this vent here, which is where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> and I get through this section. Love how Simi couldn't even thing. Now, get the cheats to work, to right? That's right. We're backtracking all the way back. Full 110% Jake. generates radiation that rips through Cree boundaries. It makes a temporary hole in its circumference. So, uh... The model lets you get out of Cree. Jikreeds have done that a lot of times already with the crystal key. What? You get teleported Wait. to this battle happening between the humans and these Was things. he still speaking calmly? If I 10,000 logs, I might know while what's getting going shot, on, but I don't, I... and I'm not sure it makes a difference. These fuckers here, they spit green shit at you. They throw langoliers at you over and over. So Bronson oh my God. is this guy who really needs to get to a meeting. He's I and, remember and that. flight gets all fucking ghosted. These, these things, and they're stuck at an airport, and the guy... So these my God, I remember watching that. Like they came off of Babylon 5's cutting room floor, all right? So what you have to do is you go underground, but there's a fork in the road here one way gets you to the place you need to deactivate a force field and the other way leads you to the surface so if you're dumb like i am you went back to the surface and see a lot of these areas are copied and pasted so it gets a little confusing Fuck this, sake, music is this whole time that doesn't really fit so maybe it's intentional maybe this whole thing is like an allegory for some russian occupation of a country like afghanistan jokes on you russia here in america we just go ahead and occupy countries anyway no matter what you dirty fucking commies say oh what's that that looks neat <laughs> Uh-huh. You don't need half of this, you dicks. I already know I'm in Creed. I know what year it is. The game is about being stuck in fucking Creed. Out there, in the tunnels, you'll find the force shield generator. Go there. I order you- Oh my god! You find one good that the player character sounds like Andre the Giant. <laughs> we got Do you understand English or not? So from what this, I can gather, some evil people are using game. Creed to destroy their enemies, but they don't understand the power of Creed, so it's gonna backfire. I don't care about Creed. I'm out of here soon. Well then, don't waste time. Do your job. Your masters in the Legion are sure that Creed will destroy whoever they point to. First, it is the Tiglari Empire, then Confederation Worlds. But Creed has its own laws. We are nothing, nothing next to them. I can't, y'all. This game. <laughs> well, Rumi, you are right. It. What, what, what the, the fuck? What? See, a lot of these areas are copied and pasted. Fuck sake, Simi. So it gets a little confusing, even with this map in the ship. Like, I can't carry this around. What am I supposed to do with this? Anyway, you have to find a switch, hit it, and then backtrack across most of the level to get to the exit. We're back to City of Dead. Thankfully, it's not being bombed. However, it is worse this time. Because not only do you not know where you're supposed to go, it turns out it's almost the same way you were supposed to go before. The game introduces a new weapon. It's not very useful in your hands. I, I mean, if you're the enemy, it's wonderful. Not only because the splash damage is deceptively high, they get to shoot it through walls. You don't, but they do. Wow, they just... So they have the cheat codes on, and you don't. I think you're supposed to go to another teleporter and you take this important crystal to activate it, it's so... <laughs> you are still in birth. The explosion destroyed the rotation model. Once we created Creed, dreaming of a perfect universe. His fucking voices, y'all. Creed destroyed our race. Both you and we will be its prisoners forever. Okay, I kind of understand what's going on. I'm going to... The gate... 
I have a the gate. <laughs> Go to the temple. There. There the gate. What the f who is talking? How did these people get here? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, now I get it. Energy monsters. I love how that's what you're up against. You die and it's a close-up shot of Energy your ass. Energy monsters that move in shitty patterns and are hard to hit. Some do melee damage. Others have energy blasts and thankfully drop ammo for your railgun. It's just and then the others that also have railguns because I um where you have to run around in these canyons, enter a temple, watch a couple holograms, and then backtrack across the entire goddamn map again so you can get to a teleporter. See me losing it, all these energy things full on losing it. Pile you if there are enough in the area. They're usually easier to deal with than the human soldiers, so I don't know why we're not winning. Quit winning. You get into this alien ship here. I think that's what it is. You see a lot of these areas are copied and pasted. I think the game is making my brain smooth. Wait a minute, Russians don't read right to left. You get teleported into caves that are basically impossible to navigate. It's like the designers knew this and they made it especially difficult, like signposting and making landmarks is a good idea in level design, but taking those things out just to be as confusing as possible isn't a good idea. It's like drinking an antidote to poison is a good idea, but choosing to just drink the poison isn't. So you're just gonna go through these caves right here and notice when you try to jump over gaps that the gravity is all messed up, leading you to the final challenge in the game. You just literally just slide no. over that. No. Fucking losing it. Fucking losing it. Simi is fucking losing it, guys. Fucking losing it. We're in like full on civvy fever dream right now. Fever nightmare, I should say. Yeah, I think you mentioned it was like early 2004 as it released, I think. Dramatic acting. Oh my god! What is this pose? What is her neck? It's a bold choice. It's a bold artistic choice to not have an ending. Yeah, very artistic and bold. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Simi was fucking losing it. Also, I'm sorry, I can never believe a game is based on in the future if your high tech sci fi in space soldier doesn't have a fucking flashlight something to light up those copy and pasted hallways it's just, i'm not gonna believe it also when your voice actors either sound like their voices are way too deep to be natural or they all sound like the fucking nanny fran from the nanny like, what the fuck? Wah! <laughs> oh my god. 
No, you go ahead. No idea. I don't think Civi mentioned it once or twice or three times or four times or five or eight or ten times. 